Ender's Game, Ender's Game, Ender's Game. Frack it all, but you could have been, no, 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 you should have been so good. Now, as I say in the title, I'm promising a spoiler-free review of this. So I'm not going to talk about the plot in it so much that it will ruin anything. I'll only mention things that are very common knowledge that have been shown in previews, so don't get your panties in a twist. There's not going to be any spoilers. For those of you who might not know, Ender's Game originally is a novel written by Orson Scott Card, who admittedly is not the most popular person out there right now for views that he has made very vocal, but I am not going to get into that. I'm talking about the movie. The movie came out today. It is Friday, November 1st as I am filming this, and I just got back from seeing this movie. Now, <clears throat> Ender's Game is my favorite book. Not just favorite science fiction book, and this is something actually I came to realize today. I came to realize this because I've only read I've only had this book since 2007. It came out in 1985. Now, I have not technically read the book. I do have an audiobook version. I have the 20th anniversary audiobook of this. And it's excellent. It's excellently written. It's excellently acted or read. Um, Orson Scott Card at the end of the book has this narrative, I guess you could say, or a retrospective, and he says that the way that his book should be experienced is through audiobook format, and I'm in total agreement. I personally love audiobooks. I have everything except for the latest two books, which are in the first Formic War of the Ender Saga, both the Ender's Game series and the Ender's Shadow series. Love them all. Listen to them multiple times. Ender's Game, I've listened to over a dozen times. So, to say that I was excited for a movie would probably be an understatement. So, I went today and drove 45 minutes to the southern end of Louisville to the IMAX theater. Because I could get tickets to see Ender's Game in IMAX. Sounds like a no-brainer. The previews looked pretty cool. There were some worries. In the book, Ender starts out as six years old. He ends no older than 12 years old. He's played by Asa Butterfield. Butter? I think that's his name. Um, from Hugo by Martin Scorsese and, sadly, The Last Airbender by M. Night Shyamalan. He's a good ender. He's too old, though. Now, one of the things that Orson Scott Card said in his retrospective was that he was always afraid that a movie studio would try to make Ender too old. That he tried to give him, they tried to give him a love interest and make it a teen date movie type of thing. They came awfully darn close. Um, here's my biggest complaint with this movie. Because I don't want this to be like a 20 minute review. Because it could be. Because I could rant all night long. It's too short. Ender's Game is a movie admitted by Orson... Or a book admitted by Orson Scott Card that does not abridge well. It doesn't do well to cut things out. And the movie cuts out a lot of things. It runs a few minutes under two hours long. It's a book the size of a... About The Hobbit, maybe a little shorter, The Hobbit is being made into three three-hour-long movies, so a total of nine hours. So far, part one of The Hobbit has been excellent, because they're not cutting things out. And if you're going to adapt a piece of literature that is very expansive in the world and in the plot and in the mentality of the characters, you have to do it justice. Sadly, for me, this movie does not do the book justice at all. I liken it to this. If you took the book and you made it as a film reel, where each part of the book is frame, a frame of 
film and you start chopping it up and just start splicing parts together and taking huge chunks out, that's this movie. Characters are different. Um, character timings, character relationships, very different. Probably the part that actually annoyed me the most and the earliest was when Ender is being launched up to battle school. One kid talks to him. And that kid makes a little joke, and it's Bean. For those of you who don't know, Bean is the second major character of the Ender series. The Shadow series is all about Bean. And he's a kid that doesn't come into battle school until Ender has been in there for one or two years. And speaking of this, Ender doesn't even get to be in battle school for one to two years. He's in there for like mm, three weeks. How's that supposed to train you to lead an army in war? Battle school is one of the best parts of this book. It's probably the best part of the book. And it's cut extremely short. Because they've got to hurry things along to the big battles at the end. Which, even those, are cut extremely short. Uh, it's like all the good parts of this movie are just chopped up. They try to do a love interest between Ender and Petra, which is just weird. Um, for one, Petra's supposed to be about four year, three or four years older than Ender. But also, if you read Ender's Shadow and you read the... Well, not, not necessarily Ender's Shadow, but if you read the Shadow series, Petra marries Bean. Kind of difficult to do when they're make when Ender and Petra are making cow eyes at each other. Um, so yeah, did not like the movie. In fact, I could almost say I hated the movie. Now, if you've not read the book, you might enjoy the movie. It might not feel that chopped up to you. But if you read the book, if you like the book, you're going to be disappointed. And if you love the book as much as I love the book, you are going to be extremely disappointed. I was so irked at this book that I immediately drove down the road, went to Barton's and Noble, and bought a hardcover $30 version of this book. Yeah, it cost twice as much as my ticket did to get into the movie, but I'm going to enjoy it more. So that's my review of Ender's Game. Obviously it's not a positive, but I'm going to give it, you know, out of five stars, I'm giving it a one. And that's because it was pretty. So, yeah, that's my review. That's my angry, angry review. Um, so, yeah, that's it. I got nothing more to say, so I guess I'll just see you guys later. Bye.